Hello Balloon World, I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister, and this time I'm going to teach you how to make a simple C-3PO out of only two balloons. I love this design because it's simple and you can make it fast. Let me show you how. For this design, you'll need two 260 yellow balloons. I'm using Goldenrod. Inflate them both two-thirds of the way. Don't forget to let air out so you can tie it easier. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. We want to inflate them both right off the bat. Because shortly after making each arm, you're going to start twisting the two balloons together. Now let's make the first arm. We're going to start with the end, and you're going to twist two one-inch bubbles. So I'm going to take the knot here and twist it into this seam here. Then I'm going to grab the end with the knot, pull it out so I have a lot of slack, wrap it through that seam, and around. So it locks it into place like that. If you don't like seeing that, you can tuck it inside. So that way you don't see it anymore. And there's his hand. Now we're gonna give it a little squeeze and a stretch to keep it soft. I'm gonna go about a hand's length down. For you people that like measurements, that is about five inches. I'm gonna do another one inch bubble. I'm gonna fold it over and pinch twist it by pinching it, pulling it, and twisting it. And there I have one arm. Now I want to do that again with this balloon. And now we have our two arms. Make sure they're about the same length. Take one of these and put it under your arm for easy access. We're going to twist a small bubble, about one inch. Put that between two fingers on one hand. Get the one that was under your arm, twist another small bubble, one inch on that one. And we're gonna twist this seam here into this seam here. I like to hold them like this, and then just twist them around. To keep it from coming undone on me, I'm gonna switch one of these with the arm, so it's locked into place now. Next, we're gonna make the head. Grab whichever one is longer, that one for me, fold it over, and you wanna make a small flower petal which is just a big loop, or a small loop in this case. Take the two ends that we haven't used yet and pull them down towards the middle. Oop, my head came undone. If you don't want your head to come undone, go ahead and take the balloon that you used to make the head and switch it with one of the arms to make sure it doesn't come unraveled on us. This is what you should have so far. You have the arms in the front, head on the top, the rest of the balloon's pointing down. Now we're gonna make his chest. We're gonna give both balloons a squeeze. We're gonna go down about four inches and twist them together there. So these two bubbles here should be about the same length. Now on each one of these balloons, we're gonna twist a one inch bubble. So it should look like that. We're gonna twist these two seams here together. And then whichever one has more tail, for me it's the one on the bottom, I'm gonna use that one. Get a little slack out, feed it through that seam on the bottom, wrap it around, and then back up to the top, and then switch it around a lot. What that does is it sort of squares off those bubbles. That's gonna be his waist. So now he has a chest and waist, he only needs legs left. We're gonna twist a one inch bubble, followed by another one inch bubble. And this bubble here, we're gonna pinch twist by folding it over, pinching it, pulling it, and twisting it. And that's his hip. You wanna do that on the other leg also. Okay, now he has hips, he needs the rest of the leg. We're gonna go down about a hand's length again, four or five inches. We're gonna twist a small one inch bubble, and we're gonna fold it over, and we're gonna pinch twist that by pinching it, pulling it, and twisting it. Do that to both legs. So that's the heel. Now the only thing left are his feet. And you'll notice that we're pretty much out of space here. So if you have a little bit of uninflated section, this next part is gonna be a little easy. If you're like me and you're fully inflated, it can be a little difficult because you wanna make a small little flower petal, but these are way too overinflated for me to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small bubble on the end, I'm gonna pop it, let some air out slowly, a little more, 
until I get enough slack to where I can work with it. And then while holding on to that with one hand, I'm going to make my small flower petal with the other. See, you just want a little tiny flower petal. I'm going to wrap the excess up in there and tuck it inside so I don't see it anymore. And there we have one foot. Do that to the other foot too. That bit with the feet is probably the trickiest part of this whole design. If you have too much air, you have to let some out. If you don't have enough air, you might need to blow some in. But if you have a little bit of uninflated section, go ahead and just make the flower petal and then pop off the rest and hide it inside. But now he has feet, it's time to adjust him. We wanna make sure he's standing all nice and upright, that he's facing forward, and that his arms are pointing pretty much down. You'll notice that the bubbles for the shoulders are sort of going up like this. So I like to open up the chest cavity so I can position him lower. So he should look something sort of like this. But there we go, we have a two balloon C-3PO. The only thing left is the art. I like to keep the art really simple. I draw two round circles for the eyes, then I put a very small round circle in the center of each one of those circles. Then diagonally, I shade it in with lines. I think that gives it a really cool robot feeling. Then I do a little tiny arrow pointing up for his nose. Then for his mouth is just a long filled in black rectangle. And last but not least, he wouldn't be C-3PO unless he had those eyebrow ridges. And now we're done with the art. I know it might not look like much, but this design will definitely please any Star Wars fans. Plus, it's easy and quick to make. Well, that's it for this video, guys. As always, if you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that thumbs up button. And I'll see you back here next Monday with a brand new balloon animal lesson. So if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you back here next Monday. And if you can't wait till then, check out the playlist in the description. I have over 100 balloon animal lessons. I'm Michael Ledger Balloon Twister. Remember, you can make anything out of balloons. Even C-3PO. Oh.